too. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I you my so earlier today, you were laughing and you snorted, and now you just sneezed, sneezed on live TV. Sorry. Kitchen scientist Dan Kohler is here to explore the mysteries of black garlic and reveal mm. the properties that are mysterious to all of us. Welcome, Dan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you. Thank you. I'm great. How are you guys? Dan, what Doing is good. black garlic? Look, black garlic, simply put, is garlic that has been roasted very slowly for a very long time. Mm. So is this a new thing or something that's been around? Well, this is my favorite part about black garlic. It has dueling origin stories, unlike Spider-Man. So uh, <laughs> with, with black garlic, it was either developed in 2004 by a man in Korea named Scott Kim, who also patented it, or it was developed 4,000 years ago. We've got a chef in England named Mark, Bo Mark Boatwright. And he said he unearthed a recipe, 4,000 years old, that taught him how to make black garlic. I'm going with that one. I'm going with that <laughs> I like that one. It how makes it more, more interesting. How much do you really know about garlic? <laughs> I know a lot, but I yeah. think I think my other secret ingredient in the kitchen right now is yeah. even more I than love I do. garlic. It's your favorite, yeah. yes? Yeah, my favorite ingredient by far. Supposedly <laughs> they say if you take a clove of garlic and rub it on your foot, within 30 minutes you'll be able to taste it. Have you ever heard is that? Is that true? I've, I've never heard, heard that. that. Yeah. What? I've yeah. never yeah. heard that. It goes that, through your system like that. That sounds like a Kim segment. But look, after she irons the bacon, she can rub she can rub garlic on her foot. So you've all got some garlic. Well, you've all got some garlic in front of you, so right. let's talk about what's in front of you right now. I'm gonna cut this one first. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that looks Ooh. good. You like that, Jack? Yeah, it looks. Okay, so I want everybody to start so Start with the raw garlic. That's the one you obviously know right there. Mm -hmm. Raw garlic has a, a very pungent flavor very to it, strong. right? Oh and, yeah. and what that is, it's a sulfuric Ooh, compound. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's Wait a, a minute. Super <laughs> did you just see the woman sneezes, she snorts, it. and then she puts food all over it. <laughs> I dropped wow. it on the floor. I'm sorry, it was so yeah, strong. You're, you're trying to take, steal my thunder here. Go ahead. So that sulfuric compound is called allicin, and it's a very strong antioxidant. It's very good. It's really good for you. Really good for you. Now, in the middle, you have roasted garlic garlic, which is what we've got right here. So Jack, do you ever roast garlic at home? All the time for garlic bread, it's amazing. Right? Yeah. Amazing. So the texture's perfect. It, yeah, it turns that. caramel golden and you can smash it into bread. Now roasted garlic, we're roasting this at about 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. But when you do that, that antioxidant, that sulfuric compound, allicin, disappears. It dies really? with the exposure to heat. So if you go through the looking glass and keep roasting your garlic, and that's what we do with black garlic, we drop the temperature and we extend the roasting period, all of a sudden, you get these new enzymes, these new antioxidant compounds, one called s allicyctine that is twice as potent as the original allicin, and it's more bioavailable, so your body absorbs it quicker. And gar yes, Ken. So, okay, so, <laughs> so when you do the roasted garlic, yes. it loses all of its, if its antioxidant properties. You're basically eating well, air you're, or butter. Or no, whatever. you're still eating something that's full of vitamins and minerals. It's, I mean, it's still very good for you. You have, however, lost that, that antioxidant yeah. compound. Okay. And right. so that's one of the things that's amazing about black garlic. You re, you in the development of new flavor compounds, we also get new antioxidants. So has anyone made it to the black garlic? Yeah, it's, it's, sweet. Very, it's very sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. Tell me, what are you what are you tasting, Jack? Jack, yes. get in here. Get I know. In here. I want to try some. Pungent as the regular right. garlic. Yeah. Wow. It's very mild, like molasses and. Yeah. It tastes like you put oh, sugar molasses. on it. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You have at it. So, so yeah. some things that people say that yeah. black garlic tastes like it's. Mm. Like solidified balsamic vinegar, yeah. or it's got notes yes. of fig. It's yes. got notes of tamarind. Like I love, candy. I love what you said about molasses. molasses. Yeah. Jack, what do you think? It's so good. I, I'm gonna have to incorporate this in some of my recipes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how you can do that. Pop that rice cooker open for me. Wow. So black garlic sounds like something you've got to buy at a specialty shop, uh, right? How do you open this? I'll help you. <laughs> I, missed, I was like, you said do how long you have to bake it for? We're getting there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you haven't missed anything. I didn't want to miss so that. About it. I did not. Okay. So black garlic, you can make at home in a regular rice cooker. We toss these in there for me. Yep. Throw a couple more. And the keep warm function on most rice cookers. Shut that is a pretty standard 140 degrees. So all you do, you put it in there, hit keep warm, and walk away for 10 days. Oh what? my. Wow. 10 days, 10 days. We're gonna leave wow. this cooking for 10 days. Doesn't it permeate the house with these yeah. smell of garlic? It does, so maybe put it on, <laughs> put it on your patio, put it in the garage, uh, but, but what you get is this, yeah, this sort of stunning kitchen ingredient, right? This is a secret weapon. It's got so much flavor and so little space. And you can do it with any of the allium family. Jack, do you know what the allium family is? They live uh, right next door, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've been horrible neighbors. <laughs> oh, I got a drum roll there. So, yeah. so the Allium family are, are, are bulbous vegetables. We've got, we've got lilies, yeah. we've got garlic, we've got onions, scallions, leeks. leeks so yeah. any of these really hardy Alliums, they store their growth potential in sugars. A lot of other roots that grow underground, they store their growth potential in starches. So when you roast a potato, you get some sweetness, but you don't get a ton of it. With the Alliums, when you roast them, their cell walls break down, 
that water cooks off and all of a sudden all of those sugars condense. So you can do this right here. I've got some with. I've got a, a shallot. Anybody want to try some? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah some, some, some black shallot. How long does does the yeah, how long black long garlic last? last? Right. Ah, this is the amazing thing about it. Once you've done this, you can keep it in your fridge almost indefinitely. Really? Okay. Yeah. So Jack, is, is black of, garlic yeah. the new kale? <laughs> it is. Who uh, wants some of this? Oh my gosh! Wait, what are you laughing at me? Kale's everywhere. I'm done with kale. <laughs> Maybe this will replace I'm it. With pomegranates and kale. And that's right. You just got my fingers on everything. Sorry about the that. The great thing about wow. a rice cooker is it's inexpensive. It's a piece of equipment. If you wanted to dedicate it to this, you can. I mean, you, if you if you use it for rice, also your rice is going to taste like garlic. Can you yeah, like I know. I was going to say. You, use the you can't on a use it. You can't because yeah. a crock pot oh goes down to about 180 gosh. degrees, and that's not low enough. We really need 140 or less. Okay. That's what's amazing about this whole. So thing. you would use bar black garlic as as an addition to what kind of dishes? Oh, so this is this is great. It goes with everything, oh, right? Yeah. You can you could sear a steak in a cast like the cast iron pan yeah. you have over here, right? Yeah. So we'd sear a steak, we would let it rest, mm -hmm. and then you just smash a black garlic clove here. You've already got this beautiful paste. We're gonna throw it in the pan, a little black pepper, mm -hmm. a splash of vinegar, and pour that back over the steak. You have a perfect pan wow. sauce right there, ton of flavor. Yeah. Sure. Or you can treat it like uh, like a, a black truffle. You ever had black truffles? Yes. Right. So they're like of course. <laughs> of course yes. So so black truffles are precious and they're expensive, so we use them sparingly. Mm -hmm. And we use them a lot in Italian cuisine. Mm -hmm. yes. But with with black garlic, you can slice this just like you would you would you know thinly shave a truffle and scatter it over pasta. Except you can go to town on it because yeah. this is not expensive. Dan, that's a great job. We learned a lot, and it tastes amazing. And to find more steps wow. and projects, gonna, go to renegadekitchen.com <laughs> wow. and our Pinterest page. Oh Debbie Metnopoulos, what's coming up? I mean, black garlic and, and onions. The only thing missing is stinky cheese. My fashion show is going to be beautiful, but it's not going to smell very good. You guys come back for fashions under 100 bucks. Oh.